guys, Christian from Golby's. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to fit a set of MCA Essential Series coilovers to our Supra. reason we're installing some coilovers on our Supra is the factory one on this side is completely knackered and been leaking for a little while. I'm pretty sure it's got no fluid left in it because every time you hit a bump it sounds like the tyre's gonna fall off. So the other side's not not too bad but the fact that you can't get factory shocks cheap we're gonna just go to a set of MCA's so it'll be the first actual mod period on this car from stock. Still got factory exhaust, factory airbox. It's a Series 2 JZA 80 V161 box, 2JZ VVTI GTE. So very rare to have one this stock. So we're going to be the first ones to make it not stock. So we're going to start with the uh, front struts. I'm far from a pro at doing coilovers. I've never done a set in my life, believe it or not. So we're going to see how easy they are to install. Obviously I've fitted shocks before, but just as amateur as a lot of you guys. Hopefully. Trader gave us a nice flat surface here so we don't lose our bolts. Even for our tools to sit on, that was nice of them. So we've got our front ones undone on the top, we'll go up and see what underneath looks like. So to get the fronts off we need to take the wheel off to make it a lot easier. three top nuts undone. We'll undo the lower. One that goes through the bush. That's our lower bolt. Last of all, need to undo our sway bar <laughs> mount here, which will allow us to get the whole strut in nice and easy. There's two 14mm bolts on this lower bracket and it should swing out of the way and allow us to get the strut out. Obviously the height's going to change our wheel alignment slightly but it's not going to affect it enough that we can't drive it to get a wheel alignment or anything like that. We haven't under undo any of the arms. So if we set it up at the same height that it currently is, we technically wouldn't even need a wheel alignment, but can you install coilovers and keep the same height? I don't think so. Work out the best way to get to this bolt. So we can't get the ratchet on it, but couple of turns on the spanner and it's finger tight. So 
now we can swing our sway bar and lower mount out of the way. Work out which way our strut can go out, which is that way. So forward of the control arm, not backwards. Careful of the guard as you come past. That's our factory one out. Which this one looks like. Leaked a little bit over the years, not too bad, but definitely need a replacement. Quick look at our factory versus MCA. So we're using the street essentials in this car, as the car will be remaining fairly stock. We just didn't want to put a factory replacement strut back in. So these already look like they're a bit shorter, so they should go in a bit easier. We can adjust the height once it's in the car, we'll let it down, but for now we'll just put them in as they've got them set from MCA. They come with a spec sheet with a recommended ride height and also recommended settings. So we'll roll with that to start with. A bit harder to get in because of the diameter of the top hat but it's actually shorter once it's in there so in reverse order of what we did before we need to put our sway bar mount back on and shock mount so we're going to make sure the shock's in there before we bolt the mount back on, otherwise we're going to try and pry it back in. Make sure we can get the other bolt in before we do it too tight. Obviously we're spoilt and use a hoist these days, but it still wouldn't be an overly hard job on the ground at home, on some jack stands. So it's a little bit harder to do it up finger tight than loosen it. So we've got a short spanner we can fit in there. Do mostly with the short one. And then we'll get the long one to make sure it's tight enough. Spanner with a little bit more bend in it would be perfect, but we don't have that option. We might be able to get our ratchet back on the front one, maybe. one's nice and firm you don't need to go overboard as the weight of the car actually holds them in anyway you don't want to snap them off 
we're done. I'll we'll put our front wheels back on. Get them out of the way so then we can do the rear. check those again when they're on the ground. So I'm not sure if we need to take the rear wheels off to get them out, but we've got a rattle gun and hoist, so why not? Hopefully make it easier regardless. The other wheel off and then we'll have a look at the top mounts. We're gonna find the top to our rear ones which should be under here hopefully because I don't feel like pulling any more apart. So that's our plastic covers off. Put them over here so we don't drop any screws or bolts. So the top was easy enough, only took a couple of minutes to get to that. We'll go up and see what the bottom needs. So I think the bottom we'll literally get away with just the one bolt and it'll come straight out. bottom bolt out, our three top bolts, and I reckon a bit of persuasion like that, and we should be able to get this one out. Watch the guard again, straight out. So that one had actually been leaking, as well as the other side. Compared to our new unit. Same deal, we're going to put them in. We had a quick look, they've obviously set them up all to the same height. They had roughly the same distance by eye, so we'll put them in and then decide what we're doing with height later. Make sure you don't bang your top adjuster too much getting it in. Our bolt goes this way. Put our top line back up. Use a nice long spanner, obviously you can get it tight without too much effort. We'll go back down and put the top bolts in. So we're putting our 
top nuts on. Check them by hand again. Anything breaks in suspension, good habit to get into. Nice and tight. So our top plate won't fit back on unless you want to modify it. Obviously it'll hit on the adjuster. Could literally hole saw it there, but we're just going to leave it off for now. Put the plastic cover back over. Same deal, the plastic covers only just go higher than the adjuster, but they still fit under and the carpet goes over the top, so no big deal. So this cover used to have two bolts there that went in the top plate. But we think with the carpet over it, it's not going to rattle or vibrate, but... Carpet back over the top. Obviously if we hear that noise, we're going to put those screws back in with this plate. So we'll definitely keep them aside. That's our start, put some wheels back on and... Maybe go for a test drive. So how they came from MCA is exactly the same ride height as what it had before. If you want to set it up the same height, I wouldn't necessarily go off how they send them just in case. So when it's on the ground, before you take your old ones out, measure from center of wheel to guard. That way when you put the new ones in, you can adjust them, let it down on the ground and keep the same measurement. That'll mean you don't need to get any wheel alignments, etc. if you want it the same height. We're gonna change the height slightly. So there's a, on the essentials, there's only one adjuster seat that has a little locking Allen key. Use this, not an Allen key, because you don't want to do it up overly tight, just tight enough to stop it spinning. So we're also going to count how many turns we go down. I think we worked out we're going to go about three on the front. So every time the Allen key comes around, so that's one. And three will be over there where it was. Do our adjuster back up and same on the other side. Front ones took us probably around half an hour. Back ones probably took about 20 minutes. We were working fairly slow as well. So I definitely think if you've got a hoist and all the tools, around an hour once the car's on the hoist is plenty. If you do it at home on jack stands, probably allow two hours, but if you can work quicker, probably still only take you about the same time. So definitely not a hard job at all. Not on a super anyway. So our ride is definitely a lot better than the old shagged factory ones. I think the Street Essentials is probably a good kit for anyone with a street car that drives it a lot that's still extremely comfortable, even though we've lowered it a bit more. And also 
also the price of them for a quality coilover is really cheap. So we'll upload this video to our Facebook page, but we'll also put it on our YouTube. So if you ever can't find stuff, we'll put it on our YouTube channel as well. Be easy for you to find in the future. And scrolling Facebook. Dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. These nuts. <laughs>